Greeting business associates at LinkedIn. Hope you're all doing well. Randy Garcia here with Office Express, providing another weekly review for some of the products that we continue to, to evaluate and, and provide products to our customers and services. Anyone out there that wants to connect with me to see if they need any help. Um, I want to do a follow-up here on mask. I know we did a short segment on it uh, weeks ago. We've been working with this great company called uh, Tecoman Group out of Vietnam. And uh, I know some of you have already wanted to order some of these obviously fantastic masks that I've been wearing and I've talked about in a, in a previous series. But let's talk about the different types of masks and what your options are. Obviously, if you want to pay the least amount, you would get something like this that comes 50 uh, to a box and they're going to run about a dollar. I've cut them in half and as you can see, it's got maybe three layers inside. If I can pull it apart here, two white and one blue. All right. And you know, it's basic. I wouldn't feel too safe with this. People use this for weeks at a time. And again, they run about a dollar. The second mask that you're seeing out there are a lot of these cool looking masks and even some homemade ones. And I, I actually ordered this on eBay, I believe, and it took almost four weeks to get here. And it was pretty inexpensive, but when you take a look at it, I mean, this is just this piece of woven, you know, fabric with this little stretchy material. You can see, you can see right through it. And these little holes here that they're supposed to open and close. I mean, it looks cool, you know? Look like Zorro! Now, well, not nice with my hat, but not no protection on that. And then the other type of mask is, you know, but something like this, which 3M was making for a very low, low amount, maybe in the market, these things would cost us, you know, 40, 50 cents at best. Now they're going for $5 a pop, and it's not even 3M because they're not producing anything yet, only for government agencies and hospitals. But you have the Kinza version of this, which is a KN95. It looks very similar, makeshift of it. You've probably seen it out there. They cost about five bucks bring, brought in, and some are FDA, some are not FDA, and some are CE, which is a European version of the FDA. So that's sort of what we have as uh, some of the options, and then some homemade masks. Uh, this is the one that we spoke about before. Uh, it got the, the soft silicone here, and it goes on your face, and it doesn't give you anything over your nose. It doesn't uh, steam up your face with, if you have glasses, and you can breathe through it because there's depth. You can take it apart. I can clean this with Lysol wipe. And this comes off. All right. And then you have like a little tea bag inside there. And the box comes with 50 packs. 50 packs that comes like this. So you can use them once a day for 50 days. It's still a good value. It's going to be in the $30, $35 range. We'll see when the freight gets here what the exact amount is. And which will hopefully have them within 7 to 10 days at best. And we will be selling them as well on different websites, including possibly eBay and Amazon. But 50, you get in the pack, you can basically change it out, it comes, pops right out, put in a new one, put in this back together and put, disinfect it, clean it, and you're back in business, and this is very soft. You've seen it on a previous episode. Now, one of the things that it has when we took it apart, it's got four layers, as you can see. One, two, three and four so it's a four layer not a three or a two and it's got something called silver nanotechnology obviously nano means small and if you google silver which is an element is a is a well-documented antimicrobial that has been shown to kill bacteria fungi and certain viruses so again the filter is what does the job mass looks cool and all these things people running around it's got a false sense of security that they're being a uh, being protected from this COVID virus, but let's face it, it's the filter that does the job. This thing has got silver technology in it, silver nanotechnology, and if you Google it, you can do the research. And the research is that it captures viruses and prevents these uh, different types of viruses out in the, in the air from filtering through any type of map. So these will be coming in. I'm really excited about it. I was able to finally negotiate uh, the deal with Techelman Group, they've been a great company, and I'm really looking forward to bringing in more of their products. Again, I know some of you have already placed an order, you're wondering where it's at. It's not that simple when you're bringing products in from overseas. 
Uh, we typically don't do that. We work with U.S. suppliers, but we've hooked up with these people, and they've been very gracious and to help us out and to get into the market. And uh, we'll continue to, to follow through. So uh, having said that, don't forget to work out, because I like to work out. And when I'm in the office and the gyms are closed, a kettlebell is the best thing to work out with. So buy yourself a kettlebell at your nearest the store and get yourself your workout. Until then, have a great day. Fantastic day.